happy thursday uh i'm starting off alone josh said he'll be joining us but uh gabe and tyler are both something something <laughs> so i know everyone is like we want to know what you bought but I, I don't think i'm gonna disclose that yet just because I don't want to ruin the surprise for all of the people who are coming to the grand opening next week. So I kind of wanted to have the car be there and be unveiled for that. So I'm sorry. I'm not going to tell you what I bought. So pretty much everything you say, hey, did you buy this? I'm just going to say maybe. That way, if I say the maybe for everything, then you don't know what I bought. <laughs> Which I know it's not what you wanted to hear, but <clears throat> I will say this. Um, I drove it for a few times today. It finally if it came in today. So I bought it um, a few days ago and it, it was I, I didn't drive it in. I shipped it in and it arrived and I drove it a few times today and I'm already thinking this might be the most fun car that I've ever owned. <laughs> it's absolutely absurd. Absurd. Yes, Josh did say it's not a Lamborghini, Ferrari, or McLaren. That is accurate. So I will say this. On the video today, people have been guessing all sorts of interesting stuff. So that's, um, first of all, give me some ideas for future cars. But uh, there's some weird cars that I, I weren't even on the radar. Um, yeah, there's a, I mean, here's the thing, right? There's a lot of cars that meet the qualifications. Can we get years? No. Because that could give it away. So I don't want to give any clues, really. Um, I'll just say it's fun and fast and ridiculous. And it, yes, it's in the six figures. So, yeah, my favorite. NSX. I will say it's not an NSX. I will tell you that. It is absolutely not an NSX. I did not. I drove those. Did not like it. Color. Uh, the primary color is blue, actually. I will tell you that as something I will tell you. Mm, I'm not going to give you clues. So um, I even had some friends like texting me and be like, all right, what is it? What is it? I'm like, I'm not telling you. You're going to have to wait. Wait for the grand opening. It's only a week away. Well, a week and two days. So um I, it sucks because there's a um, there's a car show this weekend, and I was like, "Oh, I'll go drive it to the car show." And they're like, "No, I can't because then someone will post it on the internet, and then the you know cat's out of the bag." So, <sighs> yeah. Uh, how's the kitchen going? The kitchen is coming along nicely. Um, I got some more updates on the shop coming out uh in a few days actually rare moment i'm actually ahead of the game on videos um josh filmed a ton of stuff working on the 458 turdalia so uh we basically i went through and edited all of his content and so i got a couple of videos out of that so the other day i just spent the whole day editing and i'm ahead of the game so I think I have six videos queued up, which is awesome. I love that. Um, downside is that means by the end of the six videos, you know, it'll be like a week out of date. Um, and that also means anything I film now will be at least a week out of date. So uh, forgive me. And actually, well, <clears throat> I will tell you this about the uh, vehicle in question. Um, I ended up and I'll, I'll explain it better in a video um i ended up not buying the car that i had a deal on and it was frustrating so i had to go buy a different one which actually made it more complicated because this is a it's a pretty rare car it's not exactly a car that you can just easily go find especially if you have certain requirements about the car um, I had a certain paint scheme that I wanted on this car because there's certain there's certain colors that are appropriate for this car. We'll just say that. And blue happens to be one of the appropriate colors. And so I was like, I have to get it in blue. Um, 
anyway, I had a deal for the car that was up in Chicago. Things, everything, everything seemed great. Uh, got a lot of pictures and videos and whatever and seemed fine. And then uh, last Friday, I was going to send him the money. And all of a sudden, they're like, hey, um, the tuner is here and he's working on the car and I'm trying to get it sorted. I'm like, well, what do you mean? Like, I thought this thing was ready to go. Like, no, no, we got to get some tuning done. I'm like, all right, like, mm, what's wrong with it? And they're like, oh, it's just not running quite right. So I was like, okay. And so I start like taking a look at the pictures of the car in detail. And I'm really like just going over the pictures as close as I can. And in the pictures, I noticed something was not right with the engine. Uh, with one of the systems for the engine, I should say. The engine itself, you know, you can't actually obviously see anything inside the engine. But, um, well, I'll just say this. So I noticed that the O2 sensor was not located at the collector. So normally, you know, you have headers and you have a collector and then the O2 sensor is after the collector. And the reason it has to be after the collector is so that the O2 sensor can read all of the exhaust coming out of those tubes that come in to collect, right? If you don't have the O2 sensor after the collector, that's a problem. And so I look back at some of the pictures and I realized the O2 sensor is located in one of the primaries for the headers on both sides, on both sides of the entrance. So it is a, yes, it is a V engine, I'll tell you that. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Like that means this engine has been running with the computer telling it how to react off of only two cylinders. Like there's O2 sensors only reading two cylinders out of the total number of cylinders. I'm not telling you how many cylinders. And so that was a huge red flag to me because uh, I was like, whoa, this wasn't configured correctly. This thing hasn't been running correctly for God knows how long. So I immediately was like, this is a big red flag. I started talking to them and they're like, oh, we're going to get this sorted, blah, blah, blah. And I ended up just getting that gut feeling. You know how like if you get a gut, I've said this before, if you get a gut feeling about a car, do not buy it. And so I just finally said, you know what? As much as this is the car I really think I want, I got to walk from it. And so I decided not to pursue that car. And so then I was a little bit discouraged because I was really hoping that would be the car. So I started searching the internet, just digging deep into the internet. And um, I actually went on a forum specifically for these types of cars and found someone from a post from months and months ago saying that they had theirs for sale. And I was like, I wonder if that one's still for sale because it's a really badass spec. So I reached out to them. I call him. He, he had posted his phone number. So I call his phone number and he's like, oh yeah, it's still for sale. And I'm like, holy crap. Um, and they wanted too much. So I negotiated them a bit. And I got them close to what I want to pay. And I'm like, hmm, I need a little bit cheaper. And over the weekend, um, I negotiated a bit more and whatever. And I finally got them down to a price that I liked and I felt comfortable with. And so I told him, like, basically, I was like, hey, if you can come down to this number on Monday morning, I will wire you the money and it'll be a thing. And so he came around. And so um, I ended up buying it on Monday. They picked it up on Tuesday and it just got here today. So I know I'm, I'm terrible about keeping secrets and that's why I'm like, <laughs> that's why I'm like, I don't want, I don't want to even, that's why if you say, what is it? I'm going to say maybe for everything. Everything is a maybe it's maybe a whatever. So there you go. It's a, it's a maybe on everything it is. I will tell you not a furry. Not a McLaren, not a Lamborghini. Although I, I'll tell you honestly, the second place car 
that I was trying to get was a Scuderia. So I really, really tried to get a Scuderia. In fact, I had been working a deal to trade my 575 for a Scuderia. And it just, the, the deal fizzled out. So I was kind of sad about that. Yeah. How cool is it ranked one to 10? I mean, this is, this is like a 9.8 on the cool factor. I, I, when I drove it today, so I drove it, um, a few times today and I will tell you this, that it got more thumbs ups than any car I've ever driven before, which was crazy. I had no shit. I'm at a four way stop. A semi truck is driving through the four way stop. He stops in the middle of the intersection, rolls down his window, sticks his thumbs out, toots his horn, and then keeps going. <laughs> I will not tell you what it is, even for a $20 super chat. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So I, I don't want to give you too many clues because people will be able to figure it out. Uh, I will tell you details about the grand opening. Yes. So grand opening, October 7th. So uh, what is it? Nine days from today. Um, it is, uh, we're going to have, it's 11 to 7. Uh, you had to RSVP. So if you haven't RSVP'd, please don't show up. If you're like driving, if you wanted to come in from out of town, we will make room for you. Okay, I'll put it that way. If, if like, you know, because I don't want people like to not come because there's no RSVP, but like, you know. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, we're going to have barbecue. We already got that arranged. So barbecue will be there. I'm probably also buying some burgers and stuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So we'll be having food and whatever. Um, oh, a few details for, I don't know who will is coming from this chat, but, um, oh yes, I, I am actually drinking tonight. So <laughs> Chris Corso, thank you. I'm not spilling the beans on this one. I, I am holding tight on this one. I know. Believe me, I want you all to know because it's like, I think people are going to be like, holy shit, this is awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, if you are coming to the grand opening, and I'm hopefully going to send an email about this, a uh, few things. One, if you're driving a truck or an SUV, please park in the grass or along the side of the road, wherever you can, you may have to park kind of far from the shop just because there's a hundred RSVPs. So we'll just say on average, that means there's approximately 50 cars coming. It's going to be, it's going to be a little bit of a cluster. So um, have patience. Um, we're going to try and park as many of the low cars in the driveway as we can. So we could probably fit about 15, on the asphalt. So if, um, if you RSVP'd for a supercar parking, please feel free to park wherever you can on the asphalt. Um, if you didn't try and park wherever you can, it's not going to get in the way. Uh, what else? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Four hour drive would be uh, kind of difficult. That's like eight hours round trip. So there you go. Uh, it does have four wheels. I will tell you that. Someone's like, oh, you should get a motorcycle. I'm like, no, no. And I did say it's six figures, not seven or eight. So there you go. Fred's coming. Fred is coming. Um, dude, we got some people coming from pretty far away, like thousand plus miles coming. I was like, holy crap, that's awesome. In fact, uh, I don't know if the one guy came through. One guy said he was coming from Scotland. <laughs> okay if you want to come all the way across the pond you are welcome to mm. well into the six figures yes but it's still six figures it's not seven figures who else knows besides meg and josh um i'm not gonna tell you because that person may not hold out and i don't want you bugging them but there is two other people that know one of them isn't watching this and doesn't watch the video that doesn't ever watch the lives. So don't bother them. The other person is Fred. <laughs> Fred knows, <laughs> but Fred's not telling. 
Okay, I swore him to secrecy, so don't bother him, okay? I'm not telling you the engine. I told you it was a V, so it's not a straight six. I can tell you that. It is a V engine. Um, yeah, people have basically figured out what it is, but I'm not telling what. So, yeah. Um, what else is going on? Uh <clears throat> oh, there is a um, an update in the shop I want to show you guys. So, where is it? Mm, got camera. There it is. Okay, so they've been working on painting the outside of the shop. I'll give you a sneak preview. Check that out. What do you think of the paint scheme? It's dark gray with light gray doors and red trim. So they were working their butts off. They, dude, our, I tell you what, our guys have been doing an amazing job. If they happen to watch this, um, been really, really pleased with the work they've done. Super, super good guys. Uh, love the paint scheme. So it kind of carried through the paint scheme we have in the office to the entire shop. So it's, they should have the paint done tomorrow on the outside of the building. They're working on the loft area. They should have that done uh, soon. We still have to paint the kitchen. We still have to paint the upstairs. Um, we got to finish the countertops. The lifts. Oh, oh, the lifts are coming in Monday. Thank God. So it's still because it's a bit of a tight squeeze. Like, uh, it, I'll, I'll, I'm totally honest here. I've had three nights this week, and I guess out of five, where I woke up and I could not get to sleep because I'm so anxious and excited, like a combination of excitement, anxious, nervous, whatever, about the grand opening of this shop that I'm like, I just couldn't sleep. There's so much, like my mind's racing a thousand miles an hour that I just couldn't sleep. And so... Uh, the one night I was up from 2.30 until like 4 or 5, just sitting in bed, like just ruminating on everything that has to be done. You know, like there's just a checklist that's like, you know, really long of like all this crap that needs to be done. So I'm just like, oh, my God, can't believe I got to do all this stuff. Um, yeah, it, it's it's tough. It's like I told, I told Meg. Meg uh, Meg and I were chatting. I told her, I'll make the week after the grand opening, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to sit there on the couch and watch videos and nap. I am, I like, it's been a marathon and we're finally on the last, like, you know, the last leg of it. And I'm just ready to be done. We need a nap. Um, it, it's been tough. Oh, oh, I just heard Josh, Josh popped on. Here we go. Yo. Hey. Oh, you got a different setting. I'm in my dining room. Oh. Everybody hated everybody hated the bedroom and the kids have to go to bed downstairs. So I was like, I'll just sit at the table. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Um <laughs> by the way, do not spill the beans. Everyone keeps begging for me to tell Oh them. yeah, I wasn't uh, planning on it. Yeah. They're like they're like, who else knows besides Josh? <laughs> <laughs> like, I know a few you. people that know, but they're not going to say anything. <laughs> Fred knows. I told Fred just because Fred. Yeah. And then um, another guy knows, but he's not going to spill the beans because he's not in the chat. So he's, you know, but they're trying <laughs> to bribe you. <laughs> uh, nope. I did say it does have a V style engine. Okay. That's I gave him that clue, but that's it. Like they were all, oh man, <clears throat> nobody's oh, gonna okay. guess what it is, huh? Nobody's gonna guess what it is. They have on the on the uh, video from today. There's some pretty good guesses. Oh really? Yeah, and I, I also don't even want to give you the year because it could give it away. Oh um, yeah, tell them the year. Yeah. What is better, California or Gran Turismo? In my opinion, California. I'd say California. Yeah. I like the sound of it better. And also, I think it looks a little better. Yeah. But 
the other problem is the Gran Turismo's depreciate really badly. Hello. Hi. How are you? I literally got home 10 minutes ago. I'm not oh, yeah. <laughs> I was literally Jeez. working 10 minutes ago too. You're good. It's all right. I I I I gave in. I've had <laughs> I've had beer and all sorts of things terrible today. Nice. <laughs> Finally. We yeah. can go to lunch anywhere we want now. You yes, tomorrow we should tomorrow we're getting a burger. Okay. <laughs> I don't care where it is, we're getting a burger. Did you give up the diet already? Well, I'm taking a pause because <laughs> I don't want to go into too much detail, but let's just say my my poor butt was unhappy. <laughs> Good time to pause. You need some carbs. <laughs> yes. It's I I I was suffering so bad that I was like, I'm just gonna eat a banana because Banana, you know, <laughs> it's like a cork. <laughs> the brat diet. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, but it's, it's, I will say I, I hit my goal. I'm pleased with that. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Thank you. AMC Pacer. <laughs> that would be awesome. The oh, so Lotus would be cool. He's asking about the keto. Diet. So I, I did the keto for about six or seven weeks. And it worked really well, but I do not like, I don't enjoy the, the result. Like it, it does not make you feel good. Um, you feel like shit and you have bad issues with your GI system because your body's not supposed to eat that much protein and fat. It's supposed to have some carbs. So I'm pausing for a little bit. I have, I had my primary goal. I have a secondary goal. I achieved my primary goal. I'm now targeting my secondary goal. So there you go. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I did tell the color. I said it's blue. So it's blue and it's got a V engine. And it's not a Ferrari, Lamborghini, or McLaren. You got a 1086 with your Audi? What kind of Audi is it? What Audi? Must be like a RS3 or something. That's awesome. Yes, exactly. Keto has been unfriendly to my intestines. <laughs> I, that was that was honestly the biggest problem I had. S6. I don't know anything about Audis. Is that? Is it the four liter? Probably, because you can tune those. It's got the same engine that the Urus has, basically. Oh wow! Really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm exhausted. <laughs> Do you see a small decline in the future for Ferrari values like 3 to 7K? That's 3 to 7K is imperceptible in the Ferrari market. Yeah. You can't, I mean, they fluctuate 3 to 7K in a week. You don't know. Um, but I feel like the market right now is a little soft. Um, it's it's a weird market right now. It's hard to put a finger on. I feel like the 458s declined a lot, and I feel like they're a good buy right now. And But at the same time, I don't know. It's weird. It's just it's a weird market. We haven't really figured it out right now, so we're having a hard time. Well, I just went and looked at a 458 that was really yeah. cheap that we were going to buy, and Oh yeah, did the guy ever get back to you? No. He just ghosted you? Well, no, he, he did get back to me. He oh. said, thanks for your time and everything, and sorry we couldn't come to a deal. Okay. But that's totally yeah. totally reasonable. Yeah. So, yeah, that was <laughs> Yeah, it's too bad. To travel all that way and spend the money to do that in uh, two days of your time and it doesn't come with anything, but that's how it goes. This is this is the unfortunate crap that we have to deal with is you know like most dealerships don't do what we do they don't fly out and go look at cars they just buy them and the problem is then you end up with cars that you thought you were going to make money on but you're not and this car we looked at it we looked at all the pictures we thought okay like it needs you know x y and z to be fixed okay no big deal we can fix those things josh gets out there calls me he's like dude <laughs> It was like it needed so much more than the guy let on. But in his defense, he really didn't know. 
Yeah, that and, and that's that. the problem. I think a lot of people don't know. And the thing about it is, too, is he said he had a PPI done before he bought it. He hadn't had it that long. And I was like, you know, whoever did this PPI was blind. And maybe yeah. worked on Toyotas 20 years ago or something, but it definitely doesn't know how to look at a Ferrari. That's, that's the thing about PPIs. I hate PPIs because I feel like they're, there are good PPIs, but most of them seem to be bad. And yeah. How much of a discount if the vehicle has been in an accident? Depends, Usually like depends if it's like just a fender bender or a total or, you know, if it's, if it's a salvage title, I say it's worth 60% of re whatever the retail value is. And if it's got a ding on Carfax, it's like minus 20%. Yeah. I'll say about 20% for a Ferrari mm -hmm. if it's got an accident. Yeah. Yeah. And it has to be documented. It can't just be, oh, yeah, it's been in a wreck. Yeah. And it, also, like, if the wreck's like a, it? if the wreck's like a simple wreck, it's fine, like a bumper kind of thing. But if it's like airbags went off thing, that yeah. hurts. Yeah. Yep. The spread is very tight. This is the spread. The spread's why we don't do a lot of uh, Porsches. <laughs> yeah, you can't make money on a Porsche. There's no spread on a Porsche. Yeah, you'd have to turn over so much volume in Porsches to make money. <coughs> and the funny thing is, like, they don't they don't sell easily. I feel like you know, yeah. like the, the Porsche buyers are picky, and then they want the biggest. Like the sellers want the all the money. And then the buyers want the cheapest car on earth. Right. And no one's willing to pay. They want the huge money. discounts for every little thing that's wrong with them. That on any other car, it wouldn't matter. But, oh, it's a Porsche. So I need, you know, it's just. <laughs> yeah. They're paying the ass to sell. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Toyotas. I've owned Toyotas my pretty much my whole life. <laughs> yeah, Toyotas are great. Tacomas and Forerunners and. Camrys and Priuses. I did all sorts of. I love Toyotas. Yeah, yeah, they're good. I, I, I mean, for normal people doing normal car stuff, Toyotas are perfect. Yeah. Anybody, any, anytime anyone would come to me and say, "I need a reliable car that's going to get me around," and I don't have Toyota to Camry. worry about it, Toyota, Toyota Camry. Every time, yeah. Toyota Camry. If you need room, buy a Four Runner or buy like a, a Rav Four. <laughs> Are you trying to cheat, Travis? And if you want to, if you oh. want it a little nicer, you buy a Lexus. Oh, you're sending me your. Uh, oh, dude, that's a good looking car, Travis. He's sending me a picture. This is Travis, Travis Carpenter's car. I'm going to show the world. Oop, but there it is. Focus. <laughs> It's cool. I could do without the yellow headlights, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the yellow headlights. Can you remove that shit, Travis? <laughs> not a rally car. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Megan Ellison did great last night or uh, <laughs> last week. That was that was pretty funny. I like it was fun. We'll have to do that every once in a while. Yeah. This is a good question cuz they're about the same price. Ooh. I mean, they're totally different cars. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I think I mean, for a DIY type of person and a real enthusiast, you'd probably want the 360. But if you're just wanting a Ferrari that is a really good value and you just want to drive it around and, you know, have fun with it and not really worry about it too much, the California would be a better car for that. Yeah. California's going to be more reliable. It's going to be a little bit more comfortable. It's a lot faster. But I feel when like. We were, when we were in Monterey, there was a California there that had been lowered and it had wheel spacers on it. Yes. And it had dark window tint. So it was like, okay, I could, and it had an exhaust, like an X pipe or something. I was like, I could get on board with that. Yeah. It was pretty good. I feel like the, that's the problem with the California. <laughs> no one does anything to them. Yeah. They're just always vanilla. And I would just, seriously like, consider one if I could find the right color with carbon seats and, you know, model oh, pipe, yeah. it's a good value for the money. They're crazy value, like a sub one hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, great cars. The DCT Trans. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't understand the hate on that car. Like, I get it. It's not like 
is not as attractive and it's not like you know the mid engines but it's still an amazing car still a ferrari still a ferrari yeah exactly so <clears throat> best cheap ferrari that has some potential to increase in value probably a 360 i would say 360 430 maybe uh because i feel like the 355s are overvalued yeah they're not going they're not yeah they're they're too high. they're too expensive now yeah um honestly the 348s are still pretty cheap those might but people just never gave them the love that they got for them well, they're just not i mean they're cool and everything but they're not great driving cars true yeah yeah probably 360 might be the like sweet spot right now in the current market yeah if you could find a nicely spec 360 with good miles that's been taken care of uh yes we're still friends with uh authentic details in fact if you go to authentic details and you mention our youtube channel you get 10 percent off still so they're the only ones i trust in town yeah which reminds me i need to take the new ride so the new ride does have some partial ppf mm -hmm. but it's got like the half ppf on the hood oh no so i'm like oh do i risk pulling it off and getting it redone i already told brad i was like hey brad i'm probably gonna buy this car and i'm like can you do a ppf on it and he's like oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's like there is not a template for that car anywhere i'm like i know so yeah so how much is that gonna cost <laughs> a lot, a lot. i think i'm gonna do it probably just because it's it the paints immaculate right now oops yeah they did uh mike is the guy that bought the dark gray 458 and they he did a good yes. job on that one that one he did good. he did the uh 48 as well that um oh yeah um, the black harry's green. harry's yeah. 48 which looks holy shit it looks so good i can tell okay. you with 100 percent certainty that it is not a corvette <laughs> yes it's not a corvette <laughs> how sensitive is this paint that's I don't know. It's not Ferrari sensitive. It's a good good question. I don't know. Honestly, I I you know what I need to do is measure the paint thickness. Um that's a really interesting question. Cuz I don't I don't know a ton of details on the I'm still so here's the weird thing. It's because it's not a Ferrari. I'm learning about this particular car and the brand and whatever. So I'm learning stuff. So I'm trying to. It's Kit. I got Kit. Knight Rider Kit. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we all focus on Ferrari versus Lamborghini? Well, we've been over this before. I don't know, because it's like stuff. Because Lamborghini customers are totally different than Ferrari customers. Generally. Generally. Generally speaking. And I don't know. I. I personally don't really like Lamborghinis, and I don't think Dan does either. I love the Super Legera. Yeah, that car is really cool. <coughs> but if you had to pick between that or a Scud, you'd pick the Scud every oh, time. Oh yeah, the Scud. <laughs> That's is... the equivalent car, though. In know? in my top five list, the car I just bought is in there. The Scud is in there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't. Can you measure paint thickness on fiberglass? I don't think you can, right? Uh, there's special tool. You can buy a special paint meter that'll do aluminum and. I have and a non-ferrous one, and even plastic bumpers. My non-ferrous one will do like aluminum. Yeah. But I don't think it does fiberglass. You can't. There's ways to do it, but it's super, super expensive uh, device to do it. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Kona Seg, I wish. <laughs> yeah i that's a good guess honestly a good guess would have been the super g i that's i would not throw a super g out of bed for sure actually to be honest if i was going to do a super g i probably would go for something crazy like the um what's it called the uh not the super legera but the uh the performante no 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 the performantes were um mostly spiders but the uh the race one um oh yeah yeah 
God, Didn't someone can I... offer us one of those? Yes. I forget. Yeah, Billy, Billy made it's like, like super trofeo or something. Super trofeo. That's yeah. it. I would I would rock a super trofeo <laughs> or the um the other one. Oh shoot! Why is my brain not working tonight? What's the other super rare Lamborghini that's not a super trofeo? I think they're all in yellow. I forgot what it's called, but whatever. Anyway, those, those, all, all of those like special Gyarados, I really enjoyed. I like the rawness. Squadra Corsa. Yes. The Squadra Corsa. That car, mm, that is a really, really good car. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're going back and forth about selling a Cali? <sighs> it's a tough, tough call. We'll consign it for you if you want to sell it. <laughs> if you want to send it our way. Yes. Yeah, there's no difference between the Squadra Corsa, STS, and Final Super G. Probably. Just paint and stickers. Yes, we're talking about Gyarados right now. If they should have a Gyarados in his name. Well, no, no wonder. Um... The STS has the fixed wing and lighter engine cover. Mm, very good. I did not know that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know all the details about the Lamborghini stuff, but I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the Super G and all the special edition Gardos are just fantastic. I think part of it's that the transmission is just tuned better in the Super G and whatever. And I don't know, being being in, in the cabin with all the carbon fiber everywhere just makes it feel special. You yeah. Know? I I like that. Like there's so, like okay, it's weird because you know, sometimes you want that like more posh Alcantara, like very luxurious interior that is comfortable and whatever. And then other times you want like the more race car, loud, no sound deadening, like super lightweight kind of stuff like you know there's there's time like in a, in a perfect world we can have all the money there's times where you want to drive the scud and there's try times where you want to drive an f12 you know <laughs> <laughs> so it's tough yeah they've made so many aventadors yeah we're just capitalizing on that they they that yeah and they've barely made like what i think Right around three thousand Murcielagos, I believe. Isn't it like thirty-two hundred? I think something like that. Aren't you guys glad the purple Lambo is gone? Every day. <laughs> I hate, absolutely hate Huracans, and that purple car has a lot to do with it. I was say I didn't like them that much before that car, and now I really don't like them at all. And I, I would be. I, I would be willing to play <laughs> that we'll probably never have another Huracan, or at least it's not going to be unless it's a trade-in and it came in at a stupid low price. Yeah. <laughs> 12,000 Aventadors? That's a lot. Holy crap. That's more... Jeez. The only thing they've made more than that probably is the Huracan. How many like, like, 430s did they make? It's got to be around that same number. Uh, 430s they made, I think, like... I want to say seventeen thousand. I think three sixties. They made about twelve thousand. So, no, I thought they made more three sixties than four thirties. Well, let me look that up. Yeah, they made like something like yeah, fourteen, fifteen thousand Gardos. I th I thought they've made like twenty thousand Huracans or something like that. Now, they made quite a bit. It's fifteen thousand. Um, fifteen. Okay. And I think of those, something like three or four thousand were manual. There's only forty two hundred in the U.S. Really, three sixties, uh, eighteen hundred and ten uh, coupes and twenty three hundred and eighty nine spiders. Wow, in the U.S., so that's pretty low. That's less than I would have thought. Yeah, yeah, Ferrari has been making more and more cars. Oh, hey, you come in tomorrow, right? your your flight if if so um 
our lifts aren't being installed until Monday, so we're gonna have to do some stuff at my house, I guess. Oh, I guess we have plans over the weekend. We're gonna have to do an exhaust over the weekend. <laughs> Josh. This weekend? Yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything probably on Saturday. I okay. got I got kids sports stuff pretty much all day, but I can help on Sunday. <clears throat> on a scale of one to ten, how much better is a four thirty than three sixty as far as issues? I mean, the thing you gotta consider is the three sixty and the four thirty have a lot of the same components. The major differences are the engine and transmission, right? So anything that goes wrong on a 430 also goes wrong on a 360, except the 360 has some known issues with like the heat exchanger um, and a few other parts, and it has the belt service and whatever. So there's, it's not a dramatic difference. Like, you know, it's not like if, if like, you know, a 430 is like a, eight on the reliability is the 360 uh like a two no it's like more like a seven or something like that right yeah so they're and part of that's also because the 360 is just older and i think in my opinion the 360 is easier to work on there's a little bit more room in the engine bay i mean it's pretty much the same engine bay i feel like there's less uh, the 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 it oil could be less electronics yeah there's less stuff in there there's less wires and Shit, I don't know. Landing tomorrow evening? Okay. What are you landing late or early? Like, did you want to like grab some dinner or are you, like you just chilling? Just let us know what you want to do because you know stuff. So and if you want to come see your baby, it's just chilling in my garage in the air conditioning right now. Oh, which reminds me, I think I'm well, I was going to say we should move it to the stub, but since we got to work on it, maybe I should just leave it here and then bring the exhaust to my house. Yeah. I guess that makes more sense. Whatever. I would have bought a spiker. I don't... That, they're ugly, man. <laughs> They have a cool interior. That's the only thing I liked about them. I think they're interesting cars, and they have a lot of thought into the design, but I have no interest in owning that. Yeah. I like the looks of the MC20. I really do. They're very, very pretty cars, in my opinion. 5 p.m., pretty low-key. I have one goal. Get this car. Yeah. We'll get the exhaust done. I hope you brought some clothes to work on cars because we're going to make you turn some wrenches. That's going to be fun. I can't wait to hear that. Dude, that, that A12 sounds so good already. I think that exhaust will be pretty easy. Yeah. On that car. Yeah, it should be fairly easy. I don't think even need to take the bumper off. I would say, I don't even know if you have to remove the bumper. Yeah, I think it can probably knock it out in a couple hours. Great. Knock on wood. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I did get the title for the car. Oh, nice. That came in today. And I got all the papers and stuff. It even came with a special book. <laughs> <laughs> got some stuff to keep it all authentic and legit and whatever it's cool stuff <clears throat> yes we saw that Hoovy already sold the ff i wish you would have offered it back to us i know we would have bought that in a heartbeat he probably got offered more than we sold it to him for though yeah. oh yeah we're doing an f pipe uh, x pipe on the 812 but we're also doing the the rest exhaust. So I mean, I know on the eight twelve and F twelve, if you're gonna do the the X pipe, you basically have to remove all of the exhaust past it and work your way from the back forward. Like you can't, you can't. Yeah. Um, the book is, it, is not, not the same color. Are as we the doing color. cat cats on that car too, or no? He does not have. He ordered them, but they aren't in. Remember. 
Oh, so... No, so we're not doing cats. Okay. Which is too bad. Yeah, they were selling that FF for like 130 or something. Which, hilariously, is actually his old FF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> there's, there's all these connections. It's funny. Uh, Jocko! Jocko, when are you going to get out? When are you coming out? I know Fred said I think he's leaving around the 5th. And then yeah. he's driving. Yeah, I he actually called me earlier. He said he's uh, going to leave on Thursday and drive out. Oof. He's going to cut it close. Yeah. Jocko, you're out here the 5th? Okay. We'll have to... Oh, <clears throat> forgot to bring this up. So um, Josh and I were talking. We want to try and attempt to organize a drive. I got a route planned out that we can do. do oh, good. Yeah. The, what, so I was checking the weather. So far, Saturday looks good. Oh, now they're saying rain. They, they're changing their mind, but it's 10 days out. So Mine, uh, mine says no rain. It says it's only going to be 79, though, which is going to be awesome. Wow. Yeah, mine says 80. It says 30% chance of rain. Eh. Yeah, who knows? I mean, that's 10 days away. We're the low is 63. I mean, that weather's perfect. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. Did you see, though, the weather, like, next, like, Thursday goes, it's in the 90s now, and it's all of a sudden it's going to be in the 70s, 59 yeah. on Saturday for the low. Yeah. That's yeah, 99. Is, yeah. But that's that's a little concerning because usually when there's a big swift change in temperature, you've got rain. Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah, mine's showing rain every single day as a possible of rain. It's Texas. It'll probably not rain every day. Who knows? Yeah. It might be 100 that day and sunny. Right. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we, we were thinking about trying to organize a drive on uh, Sunday. So after. So I was thinking we go to, uh, we do Cow Creek and Marble yeah. Falls and maybe yeah. hit either like a barbecue place or a winery there's a bunch of cool stuff out there and then kind of loop back around maybe do um there's a few routes i'll talk to you later about it but we could do like we're over where the oasis is and do a lime creek yep. run i don't know if you want to do lime creek on the weekend right now the Why? cops have, they they've been really cranking down on it oh really oh yeah yeah it's it's because pe people got out of hand yeah like people were driving so shitty on that road now. So. I, yeah, I guess I haven't. I I go on like a Wednesday morning and go do it if I want. Oh yeah, to. that's that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I I I would not, especially with a big group of people. I don't think you want to take Lime Creek on the weekend with a big group of people. I think it's going to be a shit show. Yeah, but yeah, we could do something like that, like a big yeah something out there couple hour drive would be cool is to like find a place for lunch maybe in like marble falls or yeah i was thinking river city grill because they've got a decent parking lot that everybody can park at and it's got a good view and the food is okay it's good enough good enough <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or is there's some barbecue well of course we're gonna have a barbecue on saturday yeah um yeah also i think um well, anyway, yeah, that, that, yeah, we'll figure that out. We gotta, we gotta probably figure that out tomorrow or the next day or something, and send yeah. an email to people and just let them know. So anyone who's coming in from out of town, because I, I feel like that's those are the people who really should join us on a drive. Because like it's like, hey, if you drove in from out of town or you, you know, whatever, yeah. So, Inman barbecues and marble. Only thing is, like I said, I think might not want to do barbecue two days in a row yeah so <clears throat> yeah i bet it's a 2013 to 2016 dodge viper that's very specific <laughs> i wonder why those years are the years that you you stated is there something specific about the 2013 to 2016 I'm just curious.
Oh, you missed it, Josh. I posted it. Um, or I showed this picture earlier. Oh, shit. It's looking awesome, huh? Yeah. It looks lighter in that picture than it does in person. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, those poor guys, they said the red is taking like five, six coats. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I saw them rolling it on, and it just does not want to stick. Really? Well, it yeah. sticks, but it just bleeds through. Well, it just like bubbles up or whatever. It just kind of like fades through it. I'm like, oh, yeah. man. <clears throat> Yeah. Honestly, if this if this uh, grand opening goes well, we'll probably throw other events randomly. You know, so like don't like if you can't make it to this event, don't feel like you have to. Like we'll we'll try and throw some other stuff for because that was one of the things we want to do is like be able to have this be a place for like car community. You know, granted it's not big, so we can't have like huge events, but you know. This probably will be the biggest event we have because I feel like a hundred yeah. people is going to be like probably too many. <laughs> it's too many. But being that it's from eleven to seven, I think it'll be spread out. I yeah. hope. Which, by the way, if you're coming, don't feel like you have to come and stay the whole time. <laughs> yeah, and don't don't it, don't overhype it. It's not going to be a big deal. It's literally just hanging out. It's hanging out, drinking some beer, having some barbecue, looking at some cars. It's that's what it is. Um, are there opportunities for those without supercars to ride along with someone on Sunday? I'm sure people would be willing to. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be people who don't have a passenger. So yeah. Oh, make sure to do a video on the paint type. I wanted to paint my metal building for years and wanted to make sure I picked the right type of paint. I'd have to ask the dudes what paint they're using. Cause they I got some them. special paint for it though. Yeah, they did. They did mention they, the paint was like twice as expensive as normal paint because it was like, of course. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Everything's more expensive. Uh, such a bummer. Oh shit. You know what we need to do? Damn, we got to get the exhaust done on Saturday because on Sunday is Pistons at the park. Oh, you want to take the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to take the 812 to Pistons at the park. Yeah. That would be fun. Well, I guess we're wrenching on Saturday. I won't be there till late afternoon, but I really look forward to meet you guys. Thank you. We look forward to meeting you. It will be interesting to put names to faces here. Yeah. The Aston? What? Aston what? Oh. We have not done the exhaust on the 812. This will be the first time. And we're we're doing it right with a full with a Klein Inconel. <laughs> yeah. Does it have an exhaust controller too? Yeah, yeah, we got a valve controller. We're going to have to find that in all of the chaos. It's somewhere in the stub. I think I threw it in the box for the exhaust. Is Casey bringing his wife? I highly doubt it. Unlikely? I don't think I've ever met her. I have. She's really cool, but she's not a car person at all. Yeah, I figured she isn't. Um... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you you need a car to ride in, Jocko? You're gonna go ride in, in Casey's car? Is that the, <laughs> that's the plan? I'm trying to think who else is flying in or whatever that needs a car to ride in. Is Casey bringing his mistress? <laughs> Can you tell Jocko what car you got? No, I haven't told Jocko. Jocko's. Oh, I can't. Uh, yeah, never mind. I should tell Jocko, but I, I don't know. Jocko, do you need me to text you what type of car I got? <laughs> you should, because he'll appreciate it. I think he would. Let me know if you if you if you can't 
Wait, Jocko, I'll send you a picture, but if you can, I'll let you uh, be surprised with the rest of the people. <laughs> yes. <He's> just, <laughs> yes. I need a picture. I'll text it to you. No telling. No telling anyone. All right. I'm going to send that to you, Jocko. There you go. Check your texts. Does the car have three pedals? Maybe. I don't know what a pedal is. <laughs> With a pedal. <laughs> the way you spelled it is funny. Oh, pedal. <laughs> pedal. Yes. No, I didn't. Did I send it to the wrong text? No, I didn't. <laughs> you did make me double check. Well, well played there. Well played there, Alex. <laughs> I was like, shit, maybe I did send the wrong one. Uh, Jan doesn't like Aston, so. Yeah. Not a huge Aston person. I'm waiting for Jocko's reaction. Don't say what it is, Jocko, but, you know. <laughs> What's the G? Oh, the GTC. Yeah, I've seen the GTC or the GTR. We've already had a GTR. Meg loves the GTR, by the way. So far, no photo. Hmm. It says it's sent. I don't know what to do about that. It takes a little time because it's so badass. <laughs> <laughs> it's because my service out here is just abysmal. Probably. Uh, I mean, here's the thing about Porsche. I like Porsche. I'm just not inspired by Porsche, I guess is the way to put it. Like, oh, you're in a hotel. Well, there you go. It's probably a combination of my shitty service and your shitty service just means it's going to take, you know, you probably won't get it till tomorrow. <laughs> this is why I like using uh, WhatsApp because WhatsApp, if you have Wi-Fi, just is like instantaneous. <laughs> oh, burn. Burn. Oh, damn. I'm glad you said that, not me. <laughs> Jocko can take the H12. I don't think you have to twist his arm. <laughs> Jocko's probably like, I'm in. Hell yeah. <laughs> I guess I got to figure out what I'm going to drive. We, dude, we, we need to get the exhaust done in the uh, 458. Yeah. Well, I'm more concerned about the windshield. <laughs> oh, it's shipped. I did get the shipping notification. Okay. <clears throat> yeah r8 is definitely not a top five car on my list i will tell you that it is not an r8 I oh there it is oh then that's he's talking about the 812 driving the, the west africa gt40 what is that what is yeah west africa What's in West Africa that makes it? Is that like a paint scheme on it or something? Who's eight twelve? Are you working with? With, oops, oops, ah, nah. With where is it? Ah, come back. His, his eight twelve, <laughs> <laughs> which is in my garage <laughs> right now. I think I have a picture of it. The four five eight windshield, I think, was like fifteen hundred bucks for an aftermarket. Hey, there you go. This is just chilling in my garage right now. It doesn't <laughs> suck. <laughs> Poor thing has just been sitting there in air conditioning, getting no love. I admit, I did take my neighbor for a, a ride in it real quick because he begged me. Sorry. <laughs> I I'm driving to. it tomorrow. You're going to drive it tomorrow? Well, hell yeah. Have you driven one of those yet? No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, you, Jocko got the pictures. <laughs> 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 yeah, you need to drive it, Jocko. I think you would, you would appreciate this thing. Yeah, Jocko would like it. <laughs> Uh, oh, I got itchy eye. Sorry, it's starting to become allergy season. 
<laughs> OMG, I would go insane if that was my garage. It's weird when it's not your car in your garage. You don't really want to drive it, you know? Like, yeah, that's a badass car. <laughs> Thank you, Jacko. Yes, I can't afford a Bugatti, even a total Bugatti. <laughs> ah. Yep. I'm trying to find, I need to find more excuses to go drive it though. It's going to be <laughs> tough not to drive it. <sighs> I've got a fuel pump. Yeah, probably, probably got the same ignition system on a Bugatti, like some sort of Motronic or whatever, <laughs> or Bosch. Oh man. There's a five-year-old video from Dan. What cars would I buy if I had X dollars? <laughs> Probably. If it was the XJ220, Dan would be the next level Hall of Fame for the rest of time. Those are really expensive. I don't think I can afford one of those. The XJ220 is a pretty cool car. They're huge. They are big. Yeah, they're really long. What does Meg think of the mystery car? I mean, she thinks it looks good. Well, you got to have her do a review on that car. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> it's probably not going to be good review. <laughs> uh, oh, Meg wants to review the 812. Like, she brought it up. She's like, hey, I need to review the 812. And I'm like, all right. So I asked Jeff, and he's like, sure. I'm going to have to have that happen. Yeah. <clears throat> Need to change the air out of the tires. Nice. <laughs> Love Meg's apathetic reviews. Thank you. She she appreciates that. She doesn't. Yeah, it's, you know, when do we find out? After the stub grand opening. I'll probably film a video about it, doing a review on it. Um, over the weekend or sometime next week and then have it come out after the stub grand opening. So, <clears throat> and obviously because people are going to see it on the grand opening, I'm sure it'll be on social media at that point. Porsche. Oh, what was this? Hell yeah, Meg 812 best review of all time. I bet <laughs> I'm really curious if she will like it or not. I think she'll love how fast it is but here's my prediction she's gonna hate the car for one reason it's too big yeah that's a big bitch she does not like big cars like every time she gets in a big car she's like i feel like i'm in the other lane and so i think that's what she's gonna say she's gonna be like this car is too big i don't like how big it is other than that i think she'll love the acceleration <laughs> like is yeah it is a Kia Forte. How do you know? <laughs> I went out and got a USB drive and just took one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not disclosing the, the number of cylinders. I did say it does have a V engine, though. We'll have to find out if Meg prefers the A12 or the GTR. I don't know if anything's going to ever surpass the GTR. Meg just has a affinity for that thing. It's like her favorite. If Dan and Josh were women, their menses would have synced up since they spent so much time together. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She loves the GTR. I don't think she likes the SLS. So. Mm. I missed beer. <laughs> So wonderful. Let's see here. She would like the SLS more because it's a GTR with cool doors, but it doesn't look the same. I would argue it's not as attractive. Like I think part of it is the the hatch kind of like sloped look to the rear. SLS feels dated compared to the GTR too. 
Yeah, I have not driven an SLS. We I need to try one of those too. They're cool. I've driven one. They're cool, but is it comparable to the GTR? I'd take the GTR. You should do a challenge where you reveal if they were the, the same car. price. If they were the same price, I'd take the GTR. I mean, I would totally do this, except for I don't think people want to wait like two years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to spill the beans. You, you know, doesn't matter how much I drink. Sorry. Hmm. I am, um, uh, you know, iron trap. Nothing's coming out. Bot subscribers. Yeah, that's true. Uh, SLS has kind of an awkward design. Both the AMG GT and the SLR McLaren both look better. I kind of think so. We'll eventually get to 100. It's just going to be a while. Is the 100K subscriber party going to be lit? <laughs> I guess. I we, mean, can make it, we can make that happen. Sure. Uh <laughs> Give it away at 100k subs, you pff, dude. Uh, this car costs more than I've made on YouTube the entire time I've been doing YouTube, <laughs> probably by a factor of at least three or four. <laughs> so, no, I will not be giving it away. Pros, oh, interesting question pros and cons of a leased Ferrari don't lease your Ferrari unless it's a new Ferrari. For one primary reason, Ferraris don't depreciate like a normal car. So if you're well, leasing a Ferrari, on, it depends on which Ferrari. Yes, yes, agree. Generally, like let's say a four or five eight, for example. If you lease a four or five eight, it's probably going to appreciate in value or at least hold its value. So if you're leasing it, the leasing company is making all the money on that. You're not making any of that money. So. I would not lease a Ferrari, in my opinion. Oh, that's not very nice. Jeez. Thanks. I'm going to keep moving on from that question. More than YouTube money? Kia Forte for sure. <laughs> you can sure. leave used Ferraris. There's yeah, you can do it. There's some weird leasing companies that do uh, like exotic car leasing, even on used older exotics. Yeah. It's not a good deal, though. Mm -mm. No. Definitely either a Celine S7 or SL65 Black Series if it's that expensive and not a Lambo, Ferrari, or like McLaren. Maybe. A Order a Ford GTD. They're like three hundred grand. Is that that Mustang? That like, like, yeah. real powerful or whatever. The three hundred thousand dollar one. Through that car. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I just can't. No, no, three hundred thousand dollars. This is what There's... people say that have not owned, that have had a Porsche, but uh, oops, that have had a Porsche but haven't had a Ferrari. This is that's what they say. Yeah, they all think that until they drive a Ferrari and they're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> 300K is well into the six figures, but it's, it's not a Mustang. I've already got a Mustang. I've got a GT500 that I need to sell. So I'm not, I'm not going to buy another Mustang. The thing needs to go away. By the way, one of you should buy my GT500. I'll give you a good deal on it. Uh, let's see here. I was also going to say a 429 boss until you said oxygen sensor. That may be me projecting my dreams. Boss 429 is still on my very, very short list. I would say, I don't know if it's in the top five list, but it's definitely in the top 10 list. I will someday own a boss 429. It's up there. Yeah, those are... Mm. Man, I would I would do that. 
Fry just has a presence. Whoops, whoop, whoop, there it is. Fry just has a presence. Porsche doesn't agree. Yeah. Would you do a deep dive discussing the difference of what the company was to where we're going? Like when you did your deep dive discussing finances when you were at the Howard? That's not a bad idea. We could do that. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't like the fact that they called the um, Mustang Mach E or whatever. Yeah, that's stupid. They should have just called it something I, else. I read something that they're going to make it its own brand now or something. Yeah. Like Mustang is going to be a brand like they did with Ram and Dodge. Yeah, that's so dumb. dumb. shit. Stupid. I don't understand why. Uh, just was at a function function and met the chairman of Studebaker Museum. They're getting a 1933 Studebaker Indy car tomorrow. One of four. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Send us pictures. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what that looks like. Where the hell were you at that you're meeting the chairman of the Studebaker Museum? That would be interesting. Ah, uh, man. I know what it is. A Renault, Renault, sorry, Renault Alpine. That would be cool. Those are cool. It was in South Bend. Okay. Is it for sure considered a supercar? I mean, supercar is a weird definition, so. Sure. I think most people consider it a supercar, but I don't know. Like, define supercar. I don't want to give examples because it might give it away. Well, is the Porsche Porsche's Turbo 911 Turbo a supercar? Oh, yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe I don't know. Depends. Kind of. I, my my opinion is if if you're not sure, then the answer is no. But that's my opinion. I mean, I feel like it meets most of the qualifications. The problem, the 911 is tough because. The base model 911 is so pedestrian compared to the 911 Turbo and GT3 and stuff. Yeah. And so that's that's the that's the biggest problem I have like internally mentally with the 911 is that it's such a broad range for the same damn car. And I wish Porsche wouldn't do that. And they make like 84 different versions of the same thing. So it's super confusing. Not so saying 918 is a is a supercar. For what's sure. That? The 918 Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a supercar. 911. I mean, for yeah, sure. Uh 011 GT3 RS, GT2 RS and Turbo S are supercars. I mean, basically. Yeah. In my opinion. Just like Monterey, too many Porsches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they look alike, and that's that's also a problem. I feel like supercars should be distinct recognizable like instantaneous like oh that's a supercar right and i feel like the the 911 kind of blends i don't know it's it's good and bad though because i get it from a business perspective because now the person buying the cheap ass crappy 911 is like i've got a 911 and you know it's this, this badass car yeah if you if you option it like that it is, but at the base level, it's really not. It's kind of sad at the base. Just admit that you bought my Mercedes R350, and it'll cost supercar money to fix that piece of crap. It's funny you mentioned R350 because I've got a buddy that has one, and he just took it to Mercedes here to uh, get some stuff fixed on it. And that car is probably worth like five grand. And they gave him a quote for 19 grand to fix everything. Oh. Wrong. Oh. Okay. I'll admit. He sent, me the, he sent me the invoice. I was just like, Jesus Christ. They're not scared. If not an Alpine, maybe a Lancia Stratos. I will tell you this. The Lancia Stratos <clears throat> is definitely in my top five. Definitely. I can't afford one, though. <laughs> I would love a launch of those are epic 
Greg, Absolutely. I'm with you on that. If I had to get one 911, I would probably do a 997 GT3. Mm. I love yeah. that car. That, I think that's my favorite 911 too. Yeah. That's just it, bad yeah. Bad. Back before they got bloated. Yeah. yeah. I feel like all the 991s are just too fat. They're too big. How many miles are on it? Um, like 1,100. I would not fit in the Stratos. Probably not. That's a fair assessment. I'm a, I'm not a small guy. Stratos Int Integrale is amazing. I mean, yeah, I think the Stratos is it's just poosh. yeah. The, I will admit, yeah, the 360, 430, 458, 48 look the same to non-car people, but those are non-car people. So, I mean, who cares about their opinions? <laughs> <laughs> wow, 1100, nice, Dan. Yeah, it's it's effectively like a brand new. The Delta, yes, sorry, the Delta. The Lancia Delta is amazing. There's a Delta on uh, Bat right now. Pfft. I wonder where that thing's at. <laughs> Jocko can fit in a Stratos. Yeah. Have you driven one, Jocko? He probably has. I bet he has. I'm so jealous. I have not revealed what I bought. I'm not going to reveal what I bought. You'll have to wait until after the grand opening on the 7th. I will it uh I will produce a video and release it shortly after that. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, funny story about that. I had my Ferrari, I don't remember where it was, um, and this woman was uh, sitting there staring at the car, and I walked up, and I opened the door, and she's like, oh, that's a that's a really pretty Mustang you've got there. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> my daughter used to say that when I had Porsche. She's like, why does the Porsche have the horse on it, and so does the Ferrari? I'm like, I don't <laughs> it's a horse. Mm -hmm. I haven't eaten at the park in years, actually. I I do miss that. That was fun going there. Yeah, I saw that S two thousand CR. That's that's one of my dream cars. Wait, it's a hundred thousand like, dollars. They used to be like forty or fifty grand. Now they're just stupid. Okay, I don't know what the CR is. Is that like a special edition? It, yeah, it is. Like, what's special about it? It's like the track version, basically. It'd oh, be like that. it'd be like a you know like a it's like the Scud of the yeah 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 exactly. They're, they didn't make many of them. They're badass. They're cool. Those are cool cars. I have not driven one, but I do want to drive uh, one of those. I'm gonna get one eventually when when the right one pops up, and you'll drive it, and you're gonna fall in love with it because they're awesome. I bet, I bet they're really fun, especially at the track. They're one of my favorite um, gearboxes in a car. Oh, really? Yeah, like it's just butter. Just the way it shifts, and I don't know, dude. You'll just have to drive one. I like the first gen, the AP one, they call it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Club Racer, that's what stands. Yeah, that's for. what the CR stands for. Ah. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't know the S two thousand stuff. For <coughs> I do appreciate that car, though. I think it's a cool car. I've yeah. had like six or seven S two thousands. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't know that. Yeah. I still think we need to get you the car you've been talking about getting. Oh yeah, we will. I'm gonna get that. I will I think, that one's I think not We need to get the four five eight buttoned up, running. And then sell that, and then you should buy that. Yeah. Can I tease a sound bite? Mm, I don't want to do that. That'll give it away, I think. At least give away the manufacturer, or at least general idea of the manufacturer, because it's pretty distinct sounding. So I can't tell you the year. I can't tell you the manufacturer. I can't tell you what country it was made in. I don't want to tell you any of that stuff. Rebuilt title <laughs> Lexus LFA. That would be cool, but that's that not... would, that's interesting. I I don't think that's on my top five list, but you know, actually, it's not even on my top <laughs> one hundred list. <laughs> the four five eight videos are coming. I gave Dan all the yes. stuff. I don't know if he's got any. They they're edited. Um, I edited everything I got. I'm trying to. 
I, I I did some stuff. I tore tore the interior out and redid all the wiring for the stereo and fixed all the stickies and fixed the leather and the dash and stuff. So so let's see here. Today's the twenty eighth. On the thirtieth, oh, the first video comes out on the thirtieth, where you tear everything apart. Then uh, so that's Saturday. Sunday is the headliner video. Yeah. Then on yeah, the I did a headliner in it too. That's right. On Tuesdays, a shop video. On <coughs> Thursdays, a video about my RAM breaking. <laughs> Damn, we're all stock stacked up for videos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then after Thursday, uh, the next Saturday is the Sticky Buttons video, which I'm excited about. And then after the Sticky Buttons video is when you reassemble everything. Okay. So that's like cool. six videos. We've got six did, videos. Did the, uh, the videos I gave you, everything come together pretty good? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Um, we have to have where you like delineate each video better. Yeah. Like it's, but that's, I think that's probably. Well, I was doing problem. like three things at once right. and I tried to do that, but <laughs> like it was, it was hard because there's no real like definitive beginning or ending of the video. Yeah. So I kind of had to figure out like what, where's a good spot to stop this video and where's a good place to start yeah. that next video. But other than that, it's. I actually, it, uh, the, on the leather, I re glued it. I re yeah. the leather and it came out pretty decent. It's not perfect, but. You do not want to see me using the wash band speedos. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hit the like button, please. Thank you for reminding everyone. No, I I, I, I really... Uh, um, the sticky buttons thing was really cool because, like, you can see... Like, you can just see it in the video how good they came out. Yeah, good. Like, holy I crap. People could see that because they did come out pretty good. The tricks that I figured out on it worked pretty good. I'm not telling anyone. I love all the different tactics people are doing to try and get me to tell. You'll wear Speedos? I mean, you can. <laughs> uh, we should hire a bikini model and have them do a wash in the wash bay Allison's would... over there looking at me like what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> right is the wrong moment right like yeah of course yeah the whole other time it's been like what card you get what's your card you get and then the one moment it's like hey bikinis <laughs> uh, too funny yeah i i can't wait to see the uh four fate with the new exhaust Oh yeah, the Valvetronic. It'll be cool. I'm, I'm I'm excited about that. That car needs a little few more things that we have to do. So it's got a ways to go. But it'll be around for a little bit. I mean, so we're not really gonna use the Howard for wrenching anymore. Um, we certainly will go there sometimes, but we're gonna go there for like social things versus like why would we you know, we're trying to get our own business going and have our own space and stuff. So, um, it's not, and, and frankly, the Howard, as much as we love the Howard, it's not good lighting for videos. And we're kind of trying to set up our shop to be able to handle the needs we have for our business. That includes like lighting that can, you know, film real well. So I'm not like, as in love with Armatrix, but Inconel is the shit. Did you your yawn? Yeah. Communicated. <laughs> uh, does it have a manual transmission? Lots of people have been asking that. I will give you the standard maybe. <laughs> did they ever get it repaired after the fire? Yes, they did. The Howard's been operational couple of years now right uh it's been at least a year since yeah. that yeah we need to do a review Wait. Rich we should go there just to do a video there and do a review on richard's jag oh yeah yeah what's it cool. cost right now for the four of eight i'm getting ready jocko you're finally ready to make it scream oh yes well we should do we'll do the we jocko we gotta 
titanium valvetronic exhaust for the red 458 and we'll yeah we need to hear it how it sounds if it sounds good you could do that one or you could you know we know what the client sounds like i know you don't want it super loud jacko and if you don't you could probably put sport cats in and it won't be crazy yeah yeah yes the car i bought does have indeed a transmission <laughs> And it did come with keys. I have two sets of keys. I will have you know. That's right. Oh, I was lucky enough to be able to see you all at the Howard two years ago when you invited your YouTube viewers to come by during the F1 weekend. That was fun. We did that twice now. Um, I think this year we talked about maybe having an F1 event at the stub. Although we can't really have it be quite as luxurious and awesome as the Howard. Yeah, we don't so, really want to compete with the Howard because we have a lot of friends that are like. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I would argue that the Howard is definitely a social. It's probably a much better place to go watch the race and hang yeah. out. Yeah. Like we're not trying to try to do, do what the Howard does. It does have four tires, and they are black. And a clear windshield. <laughs> Ooh, yes, it does have a windshield. And it is clear. Yep. It even has other pieces of glass. <laughs> it has headlights. <laughs> and switches for headlights. Mm-hmm. Is a new car two seater? All right, I'll give you this. It is a two seater. There you go. First gen Ford GT. Is that like the early two thousands or or twenty tens? Is that when the first two thousand? The the wait. Are you talking? So technically, the there's the Ford GT and there's a GT forty. So first gen Ford GT. I'm thinking be, of the one that oh five. It's pretty 05, yeah. Oh five oh six, not the twenty. Is it eighteen? Or yeah, not the new, not the new one that we're seeing. Not the not the V six. The the before that, yeah, okay. So there's there's a GT forty, the GT, and then the, like the current GT, I guess. So right. the new ones are not GT forties. No, so like the okay. the O five. Bit about those cars. <laughs> I I think. So my brother, a funny funny story. My brother actually designed some of the gaskets that are in the O five engine. Really. Yeah. So like he remember he was telling me about it. He's like when he went to um to somewhere to like see his gaskets actually being used, they like confiscated his cell phone and wouldn't let him, you know, whatever really? it was like top secret and all that shit. And he told Didn't me that after, car have like, like a, a engine that was out of another car or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's out of it's the same one, it's in the lightning. The truck? Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's kind of sad. Yeah, I, so I know a bit about that car only because my brother worked on it. And so it was funny, like he, he was telling me all about that. But um, yeah, so the 05 is not called the GT40 because the GT40 trademark was not owned by Ford anymore. <coughs> oh, really? So the GT40 trademark was owned by Shelby and Shelby licensed it to... Oh, what's the name of the company? I forgot the name of the company, but there's some other company that. Why did Shelby own it? I thought because they were the one like making the cars or whatever or oh. something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, so but no, it's not Superformance. Superformance is building it under license from the company that owns the trademark what for the cluster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a total clusterfuck, right? It doesn't, it's like crazy as hell. So, um, but anyway, yeah. Again, I, I know this stuff because my brother, uh, yeah. No, no, Superformance is in Africa. The company that owns the license is not. I forgot what is it called. Someone Google it. It's something weird. But anyway, whatever. So yeah, they could not use GT40 because it's trademarked, which is weird. 
Also, a funny thing, did you know that in the 2005 Ford GT, the headlights say 100? Why? Because it was the 100th year of Saphir. That's the, that's the company. Um, it was the 100th uh, year of like Ford or whatever existing oh, or some shit cool. like that. I like Travis's comment. Uh, but <laughs> I can tell... <laughs> It's like I know all about four inches. Yeah. So yeah, Saphir owns the trademark for the GT40, and they license it to Superformance to build the GT40s. Okay, how did that company get the trademark though? They got it from, I believe, Shelby. Okay, I guess I need to Wikipedia some stuff because it's I'm it's curious. so confusing. It's like. Yeah, it's weird. There you go. Why can't everyone just keep it simple? <laughs> right? Make it easy. It's complicated. Oh, shit. It's already 930. Well, yeah. there you go. No one figured it out. Too bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have... Nine days left until the uh, grand opening. So we are going to be working until the very last minute. <laughs> oh, dude. I was thinking about today. I'm like, man, it's going to be, it's gonna be from now until the seventh, it's going to be exhausting. Yeah. We're, and I, I, before you got on, I was telling Meg earlier, I'm like, yeah, on the, uh, actually, funny enough, we can't even relax until after the ninth because the ninth we have that inspection. <coughs> oh, the fire guy. Yeah. So I was thinking, about it, I'm like, crap, that means like the eighth, we're gonna have to like clean up after the party. <laughs> yeah, that's no, that shouldn't be too, it shouldn't big. be a big deal. But I was like, okay, on the 10th through probably like the 14th, I'm not doing shit. Yeah, <laughs> we're taking a break. <laughs> I'm not going to the shop. I'm not, I'm not leaving the house. <laughs> I'm not leaving the couch. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit there. So. Yes, we will see you tomorrow night, Jeff. Um, give us a call whenever you get in. So, you know, you're welcome to come hang out. I don't know where your hotel is, but, you know, let's hang out. So, that's what do it for tonight. So, uh, later. Next, next Thursday, we'll see you guys. And, I don't know. <laughs> stuff. Whatever. Um, Maybe next Thursday, we should do the live from the stub. That's an interesting idea. We'll see how far along we are. Yeah, if it's far enough along, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you then. All right. See you guys.